because there is not a lot of stuff that goes into this unit, that means we want to be really good at the simple basic things. All right. So it says, how would you describe each of the following trans translations instead of translations? I should say translation. And again, I'm going to keep saying this. It doesn't say transformations. It says translations. That means sliding. So this one has a negative two. Remember, the first number is the x direction. The second number is the y direction. That's going to be left two up four. This one has a positive three. That's going to be right three and then down seven. This one is going to be right four up one. All right. How can they get hard, quote unquote? I mean, there's a zero in there. Okay. If it goes zero in the X direction, that means it does not go left or right at all. I'm just going to leave it out but it does go up to. So this translation would just go up to. Now, I don't think that causes a problem, but when it asks you to write down a translation, you can't just write that because we don't know what it means. All right, if it wants to go up to and not go right and left, it has to have that zero in there. If it wanted to just go right to, then it would go right to, but it would go up or down zero. So we have to make sure that we have two numbers on all of these problems, or it's going to get us into a situation where we have a problem, okay? On a test or a quiz or a reasons exam, if they really want to test your level of understanding, they'll give you something like this, okay? Now, that doesn't mean they're always going to give it to you, but they're going to slip things like this into any test. I'm going to slip it in a test that I give you because I want to see how, what level you understand at. All right, and this separates people that understand it really well from amazingly well.